the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this is the last class for Youth Confirmation. And it's kind of like, um, finally, a, a summary or a list of all these little devotions and pieces of information that really should be part of our knowledge and our memory. Um, whatever you can do to remember, at least familiarize, to be aware of all these different things, please. Um, all this will serve you for the rest of your life. These are prayers, these are things that you can remember uh, um, when you're alone, uh, when, you're, when you're just wanting to feel closer to God. These are all ways and things to guide you in your life and to help you uh, get closer to Him. So let us begin with a prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the students that have been in our class and that have been journeying with us for the last two years. We ask you to continue to help them grow, um, even after the completion of the sacrament. We ask you to uh, help them be, uh, have a, feel a sense of completion and feel um, good about all the effort and energy they have put into this formation. May Almighty God be with us in this last class, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so it's really important to kind of know all these things. And you don't have to memorize everything. I can tell you the truth that I don't know the exact order of all the commandments. Um, I do know that the first three have to do with God, and the, and the last seven have to do with my neighbor. I do know things like the first one that has to do with my neighbor is talking about loving my mother and my father. And so that God recognizes that how we treat the, pers the persons closest to us indicates how we'll treat even the stranger. So like if you can't even love your own mom and dad, the ones who feed you, who have cared for you, who took care of you when you were a baby and that you couldn't take care of you, if you reject them and treat them bad, why would you treat anyone good? Even yourself. And so God wants us to begin. After we respond to him, with our whole self, he says the next thing is treat the ones close to you well, okay? Don't think that you can treat them bad and still kind of be a good person. You have to be treating especially the people that you come into contact with every day in a good way. So uh, the, the, the commandments, the works of mercy, which you've become familiar with, uh, you have the um, corporal works of mercy and you have the spiritual works of mercy. Uh, the Beatitudes, um, kind of uh, God revealing to us that just appearances, um, uh, that the spiritual reality isn't always connected or the same as the appearances, you know. Um, I might look like I'm sad, but really I might be communing deeply with God. I might be sad about all the Christians that are being persecuted in other parts of the world, and that's made me sad this day. <clears throat> I might be sad uh, and, and grieving over a choice that a friend or a family member has made, uh, maybe to get an abortion or, or something like that, and I'm, I'm kind of grieving about that, that that's going to happen. And there's, not, you know, there's very little we can do, you know, we are, and we might be grieving that. But that doesn't mean that I'm not... Um, right where I'm supposed to be. And so when you look at these, you know, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are they who mourn, he's always flipping it around, reversing it and saying, okay, uh, you might be sad or you might be um, suffering, but in reality, you're right where you should be. You're gaining riches in heaven. Um, you're, you're something precious and special is happening inside of you invisibly spiritually okay so just be aware that um, just because you might be having a rough go uh, in the world because you're trying to do the right thing um, doesn't mean that you're not living a good life and a life that you want that is the life that you want we know that Jesus himself <clears throat> even though that looks like I wouldn't want to be there that's exactly where he wanted to be because that's exactly how he was accomplishing so much for all of us uh, precepts of the church this is one of my favorites if you can memorize these you know the five precepts of the church um, go into mass every week you know this is a goal you should be trying to do it now, maybe you don't like to do it then you should try to go once a month okay uh, you, you should at least accept the fact that these five things are good for you 
that if you did these things, you would be even a better person, even a happier person, uh, a person on a path um, of wonderful growth if you are trying to do all these five things all the time as they're needed. Okay, holy days of obligation. Um, you know, Sundays are great. They are holy days of obligation. But you also have these other days during the year that are special. Christmas, um, the Immaculate Conception, uh, All Saints Day, the Ascension of our, our Lord. Okay, these are very important celebrations in the life of our church because these are very important events or realities for us. We have the different types of virtues. We have the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. A lot of this is review. Showing our love for the world. Um, you know, living out the Christian life. Celebrating our faith. We have the seven sacraments. We have the sacraments of initiation. We have the sacraments of healing. We have the sacraments of uh, communion or service or vocation. Um, we have an examination of conscience. Remember that you will be doing your confession uh, before receiving the sacrament of confirmation. And there's a video called Confession Explained. And you will be uh, asked to watch that video before um, we, we give you your confession dates. There's the Mass. This is an ancient prayer. The Holy Spirit put it together, you know? It's like so old and so fruitful. It, it, it has meaning. And so to try to understand the parts of it, um, it's like a meal. Uh, you know, like we all come together to have a family meal. You know, uh, you should be eating with your family as a family, not just going to Jack in the Box and everybody eating at different times and it, not together. You know, we need to come together as a Christian community. You can have your own personal relationship with God, and that's good, but you also have to have a communal, as a community, uh, a belonging and togetherness as a family coming together and eating the body and blood of our Lord Jesus and communing with Him. So, um, all those parts of the Mass, devotions. Uh, as teenagers, you might prefer kind of free prayer, uh, or just talking to God on your own, asking Him for your needs. But know that, um, at least knowing the Our Father, knowing the Hail Mary, these are prayers that everyone should have like deeply ingrained in them. And especially if you're, you're scared, or you think something uh, bad is happening spiritually, you know, remember to turn to, toward these prayers, because uh, they have power. They call upon God. The creed, this is a summary of our faith. We need to believe all these things. Um, these other prayers, the, the most important is this act of contrition, which you should memorize. And this is something you can say every night, because we all make mistakes and sin throughout the day. So every night, we can make an act of contrition, or especially after you make a big sin, or, and, and definitely every time you go to confession, you should be saying something. Now, active contrition can be different. You can modify it a little bit if it's easier for you to remember a different way, but it should kind of have this same um, idea. Um, these are prayers uh, with the theme of Mary, praying to Mary and asking her for her help. We have the rosary. As you know, the rosary is the most powerful prayer that you can do on your own. The Mass is the most powerful prayer, but we have to be together to do that. Privately on your own, uh, you can pray the Rosary, and um, there's mysteries to meditate on, different parts of the life of Christ and the life of the saints. Uh, you have the different prayers, and so the book tells you how to pray the Rosary. Also on your app, um, sorry, on your phone, there's an app, and if you, if you um, type Rosary in Google Play, let's say, Um, there's this one, it has the face of Mary, it's called the Holy Rosary, and it's by Marcello Pietrelli. This is a free app, it's a very good app to pray the rosary. In, in Spanish it's called El Rosario, and they have it in Spanish, or I think this is the app, and you can change the, the language to Spanish um, if you want. But if your phone's set up in Spanish, then it's called El Rosario. The rosary, we have the Stations of the Cross. These we usually only pray during Lent, but it's the different moments of Jesus' walk 
to the cross. And so, you know, he falls while he's carrying the cross. Like it talks about the different events um, of that walk and of his, of his uh, death. So you can see here there's no questions to answer. So what I ask you to do um, is to make sure that you go back and make sure that uh, you have completed all your homeworks. You know, that if there's anything that you're missing, um, make sure to go back and do that. We're, you know, we're not going to pass you if it doesn't, if, you, if we don't see that you're trying to complete everything. Okay, um, thank you so much for being a part of this. You know, we do have a retreat planned. Um, I think it's March like 22nd or something like that. And so we'll come to church. It's a little small retreat and we'll go to mass together and uh, we'll listen to some young people talk about their experience of choosing to follow God. And, um, and, and there's so much more to say, but I just want you to know uh, God loves you very much that our faith is very deep. Um, we, we try to reveal to you um, important parts of it, but there's so much more to it. Uh, if you have any doubts um, about you know, evolution, about uh, the Big Bang Theory, about you know, whether God really exists, you have any doubts about any of her teachings, about uh, abortion, um, about same-sex attraction, um, please, talk to a priest, uh, make an appointment. Um, there's a really good website called Catholic Answers. Um, that's a place uh, to get answers to things. Um, there's EWTN uh, website, that's also good information. So there's official websites, uh, Catholic websites that are good that you can rely on. And then there's others that uh, you know, you can't really rely on that the people kind of strayed away from the teaching of the church. Uh, but please know that this is a, you're part of a community. It's real. Um, it's ancient because it goes all the way back to the time of Christ that he instituted this community of faith that we are walking together until Jesus comes again and we will live forever in heaven happily. May, may God bless you and may you have a wonderful celebration of confirmation. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.